Greetings from Tromaville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma and creator of the Toxic Avenger. And I'm here at Trailers from Hell to talk to you about the Harriet Tubman autobiography movie, otherwise known as The Toxic Avenger, the first superhero from New Jersey. The Toxic Avenger, like most uh, trauma movies uh, that I've uh, written and, and directed, although I didn't write The Toxic Everyone Avenger, um, it, it comes from the newspapers. Uh, the, in this case, I was getting a lot of newsletters in the 70s and 80s. Uh, some of them were talking about toxic waste dumps ticking away like time bombs all over the world. Uh, children in Rio de Janeiro playing in, in the dumps, playing with, ra with the pixie dust. They thought it was pixie dust, but it was uh, uh, radium from uh, x-ray machines being thrown away and I thought that at the same time when Americans were getting heavily into uh, health clubs and organic food and body beautiful that this might be an interesting theme for a trauma movie that whilst we were defiling the big blue marble of ours uh, our, uh, we were also making our bodies beautiful and worshipping uh, healthy food. Out of that came um, the idea for the Toxic Avenger. We had uh, made a series of uh, sexy comedies, a squeeze play, waitress stuck on you the first turn on these combined sex and slapstick satire we had mined a vein which was quite successful but then the big studios started doing the same thing but they played very unfair uh, they started using good scripts and good actors so we had to go and find something different and we read variety where there was a big headline saying horror films are no longer economically viable so, bingo, my partner Michael Hers and I say, we're going to make a horror film. But I like comedy and I like satire, so slowly but surely the horror film, originally entitled Health Club Horror, evolved into a slapstick satire with Toxie as the main character, the environmental superhero whose only, his only weapon, uh, of course, is a mop. Now, if you look closely at, uh, at the Toxic Avenger, you will see that uh, I was inspired by many, many different influences. Uh, uh, certainly the blind uh, gyno in, uh, in this fine movie. Uh, if you've seen City Lights, you'll know where that came from. Where else could the town of Tromaville come but out of the mind of uh, Preston Sturgis, whose autobiography, Between the Flops, I had read. He, he makes a, a, a very gentle satire of small American towns. That is why I set Tromaville in New Jersey and, uh, in, and indeed uh, the, the character actors in The Toxic Avenger, the big fat uh, mayor, the, the goofy uh, Nazi uh, police chief. Uh, these are basically inspired by the wonderful character actors that uh, Preston Sturgis uh, uh, had uh, used uh, over the years. And actually many of the characters in Toxic Avenger, you'll see them in uh, trauma movies such as Class of Newcomb High. And I kind of assembled a uh, Warhol uh, um, factory type thing with trauma where uh, the, the, we knew who these actors were, but no, nobody in the world knew them other than, than we. The Toxic Avenger, of course, no theater would play the movie when we uh, presented it. However, Lenny Riefenstahl uh, went to a, uh, a screening. She used to stay with my father in New York. And um, she came to a rough cut screening and uh, uh, said it was interesting. Toxie, thank you for putting my children through college.